If Dagohoy's amulet is anywhere, it's probably under these mountains in a limestone cave complex that used to be his base. There, Dagohoy's magic was strongest. He was cornered many times, but always disappeared, reappearing miles away. This is a whole different kind of spelunking. Imagine retracing steps that were made roughly 300 years ago. Lead the way. Legend claims that Dagohoy's amulet allowed him to turn into a breeze, blowing from mountain to mountain and slipping past the Spanish. Time to enter the caves and see if there's any truth to these tales. I have no idea how the rebels got in here with just 18th century equipment. It's a 17 meter drop to the underground passages that once housed Dagohoy and his 20,000 rebels. The bats aren't the only creatures here. Bohol's caves have their own underground ecosystem, consisting of rare and strange creatures like albino crabs. It's like doing a limbo. The cave has changed since Dugahoy's time. Most recently, the 2013 earthquake sealed old passages and opened new ones. I have no idea how anyone could navigate this maze without electric lighting. No wonder they say Dagohoy's amulet also granted perfect vision in the dark. Still no sign of Dagohoy's amulet, but we may have found a small piece of his magic. What looks like a dead end is actually an underwater tunnel. Here we go again. The cave complex is riddled with underwater passages. Swimming through them leads us to other caverns. Some even lead to other exits. Perhaps this was the source of stories about Dagohoy's amulet and his ability to disappear. I can imagine how impossible it must have been for the Spaniards to find out just where Francisco Dagohoy held his secret meetings in such intricate caves. And I've only seen one third of them. I'm surprised none of them got lost. 